Well, good evening or whatever it is at your place today. How are you all doing? I thought let's get this show on the road before Donnie starts talking about the aliens probing him that abducted him. And before Steve will try to get us all hooked on Barbie, it's time to get this show on the road and just go with um, fun foundation. That's probably better because I'm not going to watch Barbie and nobody's going to make me. But hey, we're all different, I guess. Weed for the king. No way. So, good evening, everybody. How are you all? I hope you all had a great day so far. Hello, Roadhog, Kevin, Steve, Ed, Shira, Dev, Reza, and probably some other people that I forget. Donny and some others. Nice of you to all be here. Let's just stop talking about Barbie. And get into some interesting facts and uh, nice things for you. Have everyone has a wonderful weekend. Yeah, I had a great weekend. Hope you all did too. Well, I guess we have to uh, start setting up some mental health care for Steve. Since he had to watch Barbie. But uh, all else should be fine. <laughs> I loved Barbie. When I was a little girl. But the movie, nah. <laughs> all of the above. Probably it was okay. <laughs> Well, Donny, hope you had a nice time then. <laughs> yes, help is needed. All right, well, if there's a licensed psychologist in here, please go talk to Steve. He could use your help. <laughs> As we uh, get back to our little town, which is actually quite big already, 462 people. And last time we started working... On the little island fortress here. It's still very small. But hey, you have to start small and then get bigger and bigger. So uh, that's what we're aiming for. Hopefully we can do a great job there. As we are also working on the monastery. Which is already getting quite large. I have to say. I like it this way. Just try to focus on the chat. I'm sure these guys can take your mind off it. I don't know if we can actually take his mind off it or that we're just going to remember him uh, every now and then that uh, he went through that fantastic uh, fantastic enterprise. All right, let's see. Do we already we already have a refectory? We have an apiary. We have some free build stuff, but that means that we don't have the emissary office yet. So let's get an emissary office. That will be nice. That will make this thing a little bit more symmetrical again. Not completely, but just a little bit more. So let's get going with that. There we go. I hope it has not corrupted my insane chip. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We'll just rub it in every now and then. But that's it. All right, so we're working on getting some extra iron out of here. We were working on this little area to uh, get more food and stuff. That actually works. This area looks quite good, I have to say. And we probably... Yeah, we have room for plenty more housing, so that's great. Now, one of the things we still have a mission for is to build a stone church. We have not done so yet. So let's start working on a stone church. That is a uh, completely different looking building so uh, from the uh, church that we have right now. So building a stone church could actually be uh, quite interesting. So let's get going with it. Uh, let's make a rather sizable one, I think. I mean, we have a nice town and stuff. We should go for something big. I was actually kind of hoping, yeah, let's go like this and then raise it up first. Because sometimes you see these churches where these towers go somewhere like right in the middle. Now, I have to work on my aim to get it in the middle, but this should be somewhat in the middle. And then we have the tower right in there. I think that's pretty interesting. And then if we can do this somewhere right here. This might make for an interesting looking church with the tower in there. So I'm going to go with this. Let's give this church an entrance. I thought it was not as good as the hype. <laughs> Alright, let's get a cross on there. 
Now this is good for starters. So we get a big, big church. Villager path blocked. Whose villager's path is blocked and why? You cannot reach the sawmill. Uh, this should be reachable. She's also there. So don't worry about it. You can get in. This house. Oh, there's a house being built next to it. That's nice. All right. Let's speed up a little bit for a bit. Um, We still have berries. We have meat. We have fish. We have bread we have milk and stuff so those things all work out that's good let's get a transporter a master builder oh let's get it but it's a citizen hmm. and we need beekeepers apparently how many more people can i get into the monastery oh quite a few Now, we might be able to promote a few people as well in the monastery. Yes, we need 10 to start promoting some. Oh, we can only do one. All right, that's it. Conclude promotions. But at least we got an extra higher tier one that can, for instance, do some cooking or some beekeeping. Yeah, we're going to get honey and wax now. That's what we need for the, uh, for the candle shops here. So that's perfect. We can really use that. Tools, wax. Yeah, they're still gathering all their stuff. I don't care. I'm a tough guy. Well, I was made before. No, we let a goal in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did you lose? Did you lose? <laughs> How far can you zoom? Uh, this is the furthest I can zoom out. Let's just do this with the um, cloister here. And this is how far you can zoom in. So uh, I guess quite far. You can basically go down to the level of the uh, villagers. So you can really see what a structure looks like and stuff. So we can we can do pretty much... Uh, yeah, we can really take a close look at them. We want to. So uh, if there's somebody searching for berries, we can help them search for berries if we want to. Look at that. Here we have uh, Hiradev working her garden. I wish we could get that close in Ostrov. Yeah, this is pretty close. I don't know if I always want that, but for some structures it's nice. It's nice. So if you want to like uh, check if there's still iron in the mountain, you can just really get close into the mountain. And you can see the grass underneath and stuff. So yeah, yeah they're working really hard. Villager path blocked again. We have a villager with a lot of pole blocked paths. It's the same guy again. He can't get to his work, apparently. And he works right here. Which is weird, because he should just be able to get in. Yeah, he works there. Alright, let's destroy this building. And then place it a little back and a little more spacious. So that we no longer have an issue with him getting in. Emissary office build. No access to food. Who has no access to food? Oh, that guy had no access to food. But what are you? You are Truedo. Oh, well, you should go get some food. Fortified keep build. Great. Our second keep is up. All right. So we're starting to have a few little issues in the village. But we'll see. We'll see. Lurking mode activated. That's great, Reza. You enjoy this. Just sit and lurk. All right. Everybody has a spear. We can see Donny Danger is now a soldier level 5. We have a lot of fully trained soldiers. So let's pick out a mission. What is the clergy liberation one? Now we get some nice goodies for it. This is also nice. Common wares and candle rewards. I like that too. So um, let's prepare troops for this mission. And then we'll do two very strong soldiers, two less strong soldiers, and they can take Donnie along to train him up a bit. So let's go. Then we'll do another mission. Train Northbury. We can get more spears, but we already have. So beast bounty. No, 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 no. And vermins, planks and polished stone. I like this one because this gives flour and milk and meat and stuff. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do it like this. So we get a lot of strong ones and a few weaker ones. And then we also do another easy... 
easy mission for some extra rewards. So everybody's out on a nice mission. Send the troops. Very good. We have newcomers and we have a courier. What would he want? What would he want? Every time he pulls up that soldier window, I have to look twice because it looks like it says potty trained. <laughs> well, I hope my soldiers are potty trained, but you never know. Especially with people that recently we got probed, there could be a problem. Well, let's see. We can get a trait bonus for barrels, a trait bonus for tools, a trait bonus for clothing, or we don't need it. Well, we don't really need it, so why do this? Let's not bother with this. Hey, Zondaskin. Nice of you to join us. Hey, Cooper. Nice of you to join us. The steward of the bishop is approaching my village. Oh, he looks interesting. A monk with a special hat. Buying bread, herbs and berries. The bishop would like to purchase food from your notorious lands to help others under the benediction of the clergy. For herbs, berries and bread, his steward is offering you enough golden influence for your monastery to prosper. Alright, we're not going to help out our brothers and sisters because they want herbs and I don't have a lot. So uh, let's not do this. Let's go away. We don't need all of that. This is all unlocked. Oh, we can unlock some nice stuff here. What's this? Monastery Modest Architecture, a new cloister, or the Splendor Package, a stone cross, gargoyle, ah, cool. Well, we'll do this one first, we'll get to the others later, that would be fine. You got one in on you there, oopsie. <laughs> no access to housing, that's not good. Hosting Wandering Monks. A fellowship of wandering monks would like to spend a month at your hospitium. While they don't have much to donate, they promise to share fair words of your land if they are treated right. Is it open for all? Yeah, I think so. While you rest, let me restock you for the road. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, well, we'll do that because we can give it to them. There we go. All right, that's extra happiness with the wandering monks. There they come. These are the wandering monks. They're most welcome. And we already got some coinage again. I like it. Right, I'm here for real. I blame everyone. Got Liverpool losing. <laughs> yeah, blame everyone. No action kind of stuff. I like the science, techie, time travel, fantasy kind of stuff. Do I have to remind you that I are a woman who loves sci-fi? Sci-fi, Stargate. Still the best show. All right, let's see. We could use some extra people still in the monastery, but if we want to get more people into the monastery, we need more of those books. The books are made in the by the copyist, and that is done in the scriptorum, I believe. Can we have more copyists? No, and they're not working that fast, actually. So, uh, hmm, but okay, we'll take our time. At least we have a huge monastery now, I like it. I think we should change the entrance up a bit with some uh, walling though. Get, get a nice entrance here so that they can get into this area. Stargazer is approaching the village. Oopsie. There, we're gonna get into trouble. Because that means bad weather is coming. Alright, let me see, because we have a couple of builder's huts, and I believe we expanded one to be able to get some of those nice monument stuff going. That, Like, for instance, for the sheep sculpture. Let's see if we actually did and what we can do. Bad weather is coming! A wise stargazer has come to the village predicting that bad weather is coming. They recommend that we restock us our food. Okay, let's get one villager in. I don't like bad weather, but we'll have to deal with it. Let me find the Builder's Workshop. Ah, here's the one with the extra part on it. A master builder, but he's also required to be citizen class. So we need to promote a few villagers to citizen class, I guess. One, two. That is now a citizen. And we can now put you into work right there. Now we have a master builder. That's great.
Oh, wow. All talk about uh, some nice um, sci-fi stuff. Very cool. Well, maybe it's time for me to say goodbye first because it's almost four in the morning here. Oh, wow. Well, then I guess you should say goodbye. Well, you have a lovely rest of the day. I don't know if you're going to sleep now or just going to do something else. But uh, if you go to sleep, have a great sleep. And if you're uh, getting to work or whatever, good luck with that. Wish you all the best. See you another time. 4 a.m. That's early. Battlestar. Oh, I never watched that. All right. Is this now? It says, still says no projects. But this should be built now. Yep. Build the Corelia is assigned. So she's going to come here and she's going to build this. And then we will be getting that nice sheep statue for the first time. Somebody still has no access to food. It's a monk. Aha. Uh -huh. That is a problem. I thought we had food in here. Oh, we have a bit, but not that much. Seven meals consumed this week. We have two cooks. Oh, that should be okay. New till. Surplus of construction materials. All right, we get a happiness bonus because we have so many construction materials. We have monks that are all happy. I like that. We are still busy making the stone church. Also a great feat. Housing insufficiency. Ah, that's for the ones... I wonder if they can actually build a house on the beach. If we assign the beach to it, they might be able to. And I think they should be able to get outside the walls here too. So we have somebody living here without a house. Or that does not have the house that he wants. Maybe he could just live there. There's space in there. That's close to his work. Or he's working somewhere here. That could also be the thing. Well, they should now have enough space anyway. There we go. I'm so ashamed. I haven't heard of that one either. That's it. I'll be spending all of my waking minutes on the sci-fi channel for it. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Just have fun with all the things that you want to do. Don't worry about what other people think or say about you. Who cares? It's your life. All right, let's gain influence with the... Um, yeah, we don't have to gain influence with everybody. Actually. There's some nice edicts we can change. Mission success. Ooh, we got some nice goodies from a mission. I love it. I always like that. All right, what should we get? We can get trade bonus. Immigrations ignore the happiness factor. Well, then we already have too many immigrants. So labor upkeep reduced. Unlocks the merchandise taxes on the market stalls. Okay. You can have one more concurring taxes without penalties. Also interesting. Hmm. Now I want an extra tax without penalties. Let's get a smitty tax and a windmill tax. Ah, that's... That's affecting us negatively. But we'll do it like this. Then we can also get an extra th feature here. Trade price bonus. Food needs satisfaction for monastics last 50% longer. I want that. So we get less hungry monks. That's great. Upkeep of production building parts are decreased by 50%. Refunds 50% of the tools. Yields of stone, iron ore, gold ore, marble and quartz are increased by 100%. But berries, fish and stuff goes down. No, I don't want that. Trade quantity bonus of 80%. Trade tri price bonus of 20%. Oh, we'll get that. Then we can trade a lot more. And I want tools back when I finish a construction. All right, nice. Work, work, work. As long as you still come to practice. Four newcomers request an audience. Well, they are welcome. A new tale can be heard. Military prowess. Your victorious soldiers brought home tales of their adventures abroad. How this one defeated a hulking enemy. How others withstood a terrible storm in the dead of night. And how that one won the roasting eat roast eating contest. Oh, that has to be Donny. All tales to truly delight your people. And we get even happier people. Nice. Well, we got some soldiers that got back from a mission. Is Donny one of them? Yep. No, he's still on a mission. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still have all 15 soldiers. That's good. I wonder if we can promote some soldiers soon. That would be nice.
And milk wise. Yeah, with cheese we're good. We're very good with clothing at this point. I like that. We have a ton of money. I think it's time to go for some marble. So let's unlock this area. And build a marble mine. Not that we're going to do any marble mania or other shows with marbles. Because hey, I'm not in for that. But it's nice to get some marbles. For some nice monuments and stuff. Alright, that's all that we're going to get. Built. Very good. So then we have most of the resources. Um... Including quartz we already... Ooh, the sheep statue is built. Bah, there it is. Look at that. How nice. We now have a sheep in town. That's a rather big sheep, I have to say, but... Uh... So anyone know how to stop young dog from eating chairs? I saw on YouTube to put lemon on the woodwork as dogs hate it but got up to date and he had eaten the lemons of the site and also more of the chairs <laughs> uh well there is a special uh, u.s invention that uh prevents this it's called the electric chair um if set up right it will be their last time ever biting a chair I don't know if that's what you meant, but it is a solution. Alright, we need more brothers and sisters. Ah, we can promote one brother and sister. That's good. Uh, promotions. Let's go to the monks. There we are. Let's promote one. That's good. Can we promote a soldier? Mm, yeah. A militia. There we go. Very good. Look promotions for now. We'll try anything now as wife been looking at new chairs. <laughs> oh boy. Click to assign a monastic emissary. Sister Adette. Happiness is less impacted by 12%. Oh, that's good. We'll nominate the sister. She can be the refectory or the emissary. Great. We now have an emissary. And I think it's time to get a few extra soldiers. Because we have a lot of soldiers already. But we should get a few more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Did we already get a... Uh, no, we did not add a barracks here. So let's start working on a barracks. Because that might be helpful to... Uh, keep all the people in. Uh, get an extra door. And we should set up some training dummies here. Uh, let's build this part first and then continue on to some training dummies. Training ground so that we can train our troops here. Right, where's the uh, arrow icon? It should be placed like this. One, two, three... Or five, so that the soldiers here can train. And let's give them a weapon. We have no spears at this point, so let's give them a couple of swords. Well, a lot of troops are still on a mission, so I'll have to wait until they get back. But that's interesting. Your soldiers were victorious. Yay. We had another batch of victorious soldiers. There they go. Walk the bridge. Look at that. I still like this bridge. It's so long. It's cute. It's cool. Maybe the dog needs to watch Barbie. I think you get a traumatic dog then. So I don't do. I won't do that. All right. The bad weather has arrived. There goes our berry surplus. Soon we'll lose that. Another soldiers back from a mission are happy. These monks are very happy. Ah, uh, this is okay. This is not going that bad. We still have some food issues, but they're mainly issues with uh, transporting the food around on all the uh, market stalls. So that should be okay. They're still busy with the... Uh... Church. I think we can set the trade route back up to buy 
some tools instead of just selling them. Yeah, we are now selling them above 50. I want to buy towards 50 so that we can finish this uh, church rather quickly. It is a puppy thing with teeth itch when they grow. Cooper killed a diner table and pine and two chairs. Oh, wow, really? But I guess it also, with dogs, things can turn into a habit real quick. So I guess you have to do something about it. But you should probably ask a dog expert to find uh, some animal-friendly ways to deal with it, I guess. I don't know. I'm not an animal expert. We have a lot of weed. Oh, but it's just been the harvest, that's it. So soldiers were successful. We got some nice goodies from it. Nice. That's good. Can't unlock anything for the clergy. Can't unlock anything for the laborers. But that will be coming in at some point anyway. Get a cat. <laughs> He is six months now. It might pass. I've heard that before, but you never knew. I was just chewed up pretty much everything I owe at some point. If all the dog, then yes, it's usually boredom. Maybe something else. Hmm. Many options, but I can't help you out. All right, we don't have tools. That's why the candle shops ain't working at this point. Luckily, we have some candles to sell, so that's okay. Uh, we have some herbs now. We have this little village, and that's good for the area here. If they can get to work on the... Ooh, I think we bought a good batch of tools, because all of a sudden we have a lot of tools. So let's get that going. Only six months. Yeah, it's probably a teething thing. Wow, it's so nice that in chat we can help each other out. And if somebody has a question about something, just ask around. There might be some very knowledgeable people out here in the chat that can help you out. As proven right now, that is so great. And so nice that people are willing to be helpful toward each other. You're all amazing. Right, let's get rid of this area and then do a nice round area. That's it. Ninety-one percent happiness, mostly because of the taxes. It's going down, so it's not that bad. Beekeepers and stuff—that's all great. What? What else we don't have? We have the hop. We have the brewer, candle, common wares, tailor. I don't think we have any glassworks or something yet, but I also don't think we can. Did we unlock that already? Let's go to the common path. Jewelry, the glass smelter and the gold smelter. That's nice. Let's unlock that. Now we can get the gold smelter and the jewelry workshop. As well as the glass smelter. Produces glass in exchange for six quartz and three coal. Okay, let's get that. Uh, I believe the quartz is somewhere up here. Yes. All right, we'll get a gold, a quart, a glass, a uh, glass melter right here. Ooh, 500 coins. That's a lot of coins. But then we can start to at least produce bits of, of uh, glass. That's great. Uh, we don't have gold yet, I think, but we do have some gems. Oh, but we don't have gold to smelt. Maybe we should find a gold deposit somewhere. Do we have a gold deposit anywhere? Not here, apparently. Stone. This is also stone. I have a question about Potmos. I heard he stays up late at night. My wife and little one are sleeping and secretly watches chick flicks. Can anyone confirm? <laughs> oh yeah, me secretly watching chick flicks. <laughs> Well, that would be something. But I cannot confirm or deny it, so I won't. Ah, there we have a gold deposit. Let's go this way. A 
watching chick flicks. <laughs> Too late, I confirmed it. <laughs> Well, I don't think the question was about you, but hey, okay, it's fine. It's good to know that you uh, secretly watch chick flicks when uh, Joanne's sleeping. That's fine. She'll be okay with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so much stuff to be built at this point. So it's time for another building office. Three builders in there. Yeah, how is the training going in general? That's nice. From the list of recommended chick flicks you sent me in the Discord. Well, you know, you can only send... Uh, 25 MB files and mine's is longer so uh, yeah I couldn't send it via discord so you must have me mistaken for somebody else but uh... <laughs> hey quirky nice of you to join us how is quirky today All right, let's try and get one of those masterpieces if we can. The automated fountain masterpiece. Significantly improves the beautification of the area. I just don't know how this works. Honestly. Let's see. So we place... It improves the uh, nice looking of an area. So we should probably do it somewhere where we can get some nice stuff going. I don't know what we need for all of this, but we'll see. Marble steps and marble basin. Alright, let's start with some marble steps. Then we put on the uh, actual fountain. Then I guess this is the fountain. Is this going even larger? And then we have to put a top on it. And then we have to put some of these on it. But also the automated bird, I guess. Do we have everything? We have the marble soon. We are busy with that. And then we get iron. Uh, we don't really have iron. But we have the iron ore. So we can get some iron soon. We need a lot of tools. Some gold and some gold bars. Must be part of the building containing the great hole. Ah. Alright. So let's destroy this. Destroy. It has to be part of the building that has the great hole in it. This is just a tax collector. I think at least. Or is this actual the building with the great hole? Yeah, this has the great hole. So it has to be part of this building. Okay, there we go. Add a free build. And then we can add the uh, fountain masterpiece. Um, where to build? Let's pause for a second because a lot of time is passing and that's not really what we want. Alright, let's get it out here. Let's put it all up. We're not going to complete it yet because we're still working on getting the gold and stuff. But once this is all set up, at least we can have a nice bonus from it. Mandatory parts. A base and a cross. Apparently it needs a cross. No, I don't think that's true. Automated fountain. Mandatory parts. The base, the tower and the automation. Okay, well, let's build this. There we go. Let's unpause. A courier requests an audience. Clothes surplus for beer. Um, we have 19 beer. Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, but no. No. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. A blonde drops off her dress to the dry cleaners. The lady says, come again. The blonde says, no, it's toothpaste this time. Oh, boy. 
Well, I'm no expert in dog training, but I've heard a lot from trainers about the job thing. Maybe patrolling the property with you or something. Oh, well, who knows? Has to be Donny Danger Gaming because it mentions that. Yeah, then probably it is. We have 300 quarts, so yeah, we can make some glass. Problem is, I can't see all the resources that we have. Yeah, we have honey already, we have wine, we have jewelry, we have some monastic meals. We have swords and spears, but I don't really care about those. I want to see glass when the glass maker is up. Training grounds are done. Ah, good. So once the barracks are up, those new soldiers can start to live here. And uh, yeah, the occupation is already 5 out of 16, so they're training now. The only danger is now a level 9 soldier, so he is doing better. That's great. We can send him out. Easy, very easy, easy average. Oh, we should do an average mission, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we have a knight. Cool. Let's do an easy mission. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Send the troops, and then we do a very easy mission with our new militia. And we send out a lot of troops with them. There we go, another three mission. Hopefully some nice prizes. We can unlock some new stuff. I like it. Fortress Church, clergy and kingdom, mutual splendor, negative impact reduced by 50%. Yes, that's what I want. That is what I want. We can't do that one right now, I think. But once we can, that'll be great. Maybe we have to get rid of that now. We have to just get th to this one. What do we need to unlock th the extra one? Hmm, we'll find out. We'll find out. Got my big boy pants now. <laughs> Ooh, newcomer. Do we have jobs yet for the newcomers? We were busy with that. Oh yeah, we can get two miners. We can get a new tax collector. Oh, we have to get a commoner and we have to get a citizen. Two citizens. There we go. Unemployed. All right. One commoner. And we need to get two citizens. Oh, that's just a monk that's upgraded. That's good. One citizen. And two citizens. Then we can put those into the job as glass blower and tax collector, and that'll be very helpful. No access to housing. Where are you? Right. Oh, apparently, he now has a house because it's not functional anymore. Okay, that's great. Slow down, can't read this fast. No, chat's going pretty fast. Every time I check the game, I can't see the chat already anymore. And I know what we're talking about again. So uh, don't go too fast with the chat. Considering the game he plays, I think he probably wears iron drawers. <laughs> Alright, I think our monastery is quite big at this point, and it has basically everything that we want on it. So let's do some free building if we can. Oh, look at that. There's now a lot more stuff available to us. That's cool. Uh, maybe. Just maybe. We can make it slightly bigger. Oh, then the building office is in the way. Right, let's build this. Then I'll just build a new builder's office and delete this one. That might be quite helpful. Build. Delete. Yes, so now they can all just go here. That should be fine. And then we can expand this part of the um, building. And then work our way forward. 
do something of a wall so that we get a real like entrance piece that would be nice I didn't mean stop. <laughs> I actually do need another coffee. Yeah, me too. Get me some coffee. Everyone just chill, take a coffee and like the stream. Oh, that's always a good one. Getting the coffee, I mean, of course. <laughs> Two newcomers request an audience and we have a courier. Improving trades with Northbury. Norbury is building another district. They want to handle more trading goods yet need bread to feed the extra builders. I wonder if your village could help. They want 400 bread. We have just 400. Uh, no. I'm not going to help them out with 400 bread. They should get their own bread. This is not good. Just trying to take advantage of me. I am sure I will regret saying this, but... Ah, there we go. When I was in the military, I used to wear women's tights to keep warm during exercises. <laughs> well, now we know why... In uh, Hell at Loose, things go so bad, Donnie. You should wear some women's tights to do better. <laughs> That's the trick. All right, free build. Let's see. Is there some kind of a wall or something that we can get? At least we get a gate. Stone arch, a stone gateway. I think this is the nicest looking arch that there is because we can raise this one and then it will probably look pretty interesting. Especially, yeah, if we raise it like that. Alright, there we go. Then we raise this one too. Now I get rid of this one. Now we should be able to build these two and then we get the uh, church. Or oh, now we get some walls in here. I don't know if we need to get the big stone walls, but uh, we'll see. Ah, that's a bit too big. We can do the, uh, the low wall. I mean, we don't really need a very high wall. It's just to fence it off. Alright, let's see until all of this is done. I think we have a nice big monastery around. That would be great. You didn't even need Barbie. You're already out of the closet. <laughs> oh. That's why he was talking bad about Barbie. He was trying to save his image. And now he shredded it himself. new villagers incoming there's a couple of soldiers i like it mission filled you your soldiers were defeated oh man donny what did you do wounded 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 that's all not good how could my soldiers be defeated? Ah, failure. Here we go. What was the mission? How did I fail? What happened? Casualties? None. All right, that's good. At least no casualties. But, uh, oh boy. Two extra miners. Should at least reach 500 people today. I guess that would be nice. I <laughs> love you peeps. Yeah, we love all of you. Love you too, Roadhog. Missing raw materials, that should be fine. We're st we still have a couple of tools now, but I want more. Just trying to build so many buildings at one go. Ooh, we have some nice candles. We have some wax. So the candle shops, yeah, they're now working. That's good. 
And I believe you can expand the candle shops to make them use less materials. So yeah, remove one tool from the equation. So if we add this to the building, this is just going to be one extra building. Then it removed the tool that they need. So that's great. So now they need one tool to build a candle. And without with this building extra, you don't need a tool anymore. Which is actually a big help. So let's get that going. And there's the same upgrade for the um, common ware shop. If you build a tower with it, it will multiplies production by two. So if we do that, we get double the production out of it. So let's get that going. Better days are coming. Yay. The bad weather is gone. Well, we went from a thousand down to 500 berries. That's the impact of bad weather. But we survived. We did quite well, actually. I'm happy with the result. All right. We have candles. We have a lot of common wares. I think it might be time to just go and promote some extra villagers so that they have a higher status. Then they will start to get a bit more clothing, eat a bit more food and stuff. But all in all, that won't be that bad. It might actually be really good for us. All right. Promote to a knight. We can promote another soldier tonight. And with Donny Danger is on it. Let's promote Donny. There we go. I guess her knight died. And now Donny is a knight. So we have an extra knight. Ooh, how cool. All right. We have 10 people upgraded or promoted now. So that's great. Let me check out Donny the knight. Let's see how strong he is now. We have one, we have two knights and Donnie is one of them. He's fully trained. His strength is 38. And uh, he's not a strongest soldier, but he's getting there. He is very strong. This is how YouTube tries to get over on me. Just load my resolution. And when I went to change it back, it says 480 and instantly changed to 1080, but it lied. <laughs> okay. 10 minutes to go. Uh-oh. And then, is then the world coming to an end? Is that what the uh, Maya or Inca or whatever whose calendar said it? Mine dropped to a lowest resolution a while ago. Uh-oh. Well, I still make around 60 frames a second, so that's going actually quite good. I have to say the flickering is less. I mean, if we go to the main part of town, the uh, frame rate drops a bit because it has to do so much. But apparently all that flickering is now no longer really present. I don't think they came up with an update because there is still some flickering every now and then. But it seems to be going better. Oh, well, now you see some flickering. So I guess it also depends on how you hold the camera, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Now there's the flickering. So it's interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, what's the point in continuing then if this is the end? But no, we're going to continue, of course. I love this too much to stop now. All right, they got the... Builder Corellia is assigned. Well... She did not do anything yet, so that should be interesting. The barracks are built. Great. So our fortress is getting bigger and bigger again. I like that. Can we get some people yet? Yeah, two extra miners again. And we still get some miners and stuff going, so that will be interesting. I wonder how far the gold mine is coming along, because then we're going to need the gold smelter and stuff. Needs five more tools. The gold deposit really needs a lot of stuff to be built. But that's okay. And I think I'm actually going to set this whole industry up here now. So let's build a um, place for that. Then let's get a charcoal creator. So that we can create our own charcoal here. Let's get a um, forester here. To just get rid of all the forests. I mean, we can't use the jobs anyway for all these people, so why not do it this way? Let's just make it a bit like this, so all these trees can be removed. That's fine. We can also get some extra berries here if we want to. That also provides extra jobs. Basically, all we need now is just a ton of jobs to keep all the newcomers happy all the time. 
that's about it. All right, so here we get the charcoal maker. We get the um, the other place there, the uh, warehouse. Now we get the gold maker, and that should be fine. One gold bar, three coal, and six gold ore. Okay, so we do need a lot of gold ore to actually make gold bars, but that should be fine. I was hiding in the ditch for 48 hours. <laughs> Only we had was Tiger Bomb. Ouch. I was in the King's Red in the UK. Oh, wow. All right, we have so many building projects going on that they're all just slowly taking shape, but we're getting there. Look at the big stone church. That is really taking some shape. This is also taking shape now. We can now see the people getting past the walls here and then entering through the gate. I like it. Looks a bit like a sad wall, but the higher one is just so high. I don't want to get it completely uh, closed off. That doesn't feel right. But I do want to get... Is some more decorations in here. Um, and basically what I want... Is to do a bit like this. I actually would like to steer the people a bit in this area. So I'm going to do the same on this side, like this. And here comes the tool in handy with forbidden land. Because if we just tell them that they can't walk right here. And that they can't walk right there. They'll have to go take that path. And the same goes here. We tell them they can't walk in here and there. Then they have to go take this central path at some point. Some of them that are already walking will keep going that way, but they should be going this way now. And I think that will be nice. Hey, Jonathan. Nice of you to join us. How are you? Hey, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. All good here. So, uh, all happy. Our little girl should be going back to school for another full week, I hope. And if that is the case, we will be really happy. So, uh, we're aiming for that. Uh, we can shape off a bit here, but I want this to be just as forward as we can. Yes, so just like that. And then in the middle here, we're going to do some decorations. I'm good, thanks. Great to hear that. It's always nice when people are doing good. I love that. All right, we were making a ton of money, but we're spending so much now that we're not making a ton of money again. I'm actually spending a lot of money right now, but that's okay. At least now we got us some decoration in the uh, monastic piece. Did I miss much? Ah, depends. You missed a lot of nice chatting. Some people, um, yeah, basically uh, sharing their uh, their hottest details about when they were wearing women's tights and stuff like that. And uh, well, it was interesting, but uh, I guess it all depends on your preferences whether you'll enjoy that or not. But uh, no, it was really nice. We talked about uh, sci-fi and stuff, so. Uh, Lots of cool things happening, actually. A courier requests an audience. There's plenty of fish in storage, and the elders believe your villagers do a fish fair. All right, we'll hold a fish fair. That's fine. A new tale can be heard. The town is in debt. Uh-oh. Oops. 
a negative happiness because we are in debt. Now the question is why is that and what can we do about it? Taxes is okay. Donations, missions. What's costing us all the money? I think most of it is construction. Yes. And I think quite a bit of it is trade. 700. Yeah, we bought a lot of tools. But we should still be fine. Our expenses were five th are 5,000. Our income is only 3,900. Ah, there's a big problem. But construction is the most. So, um... But yeah, we did run a negative number. We bought 700 in trade. How much did we sell with trade? 1700. Okay, so that's good. Might need to do something with the taxes or something to get some extra gold in. Yet again. Or we should check whether we are actually collecting all the taxes. I don't think we are. Let's check that. I'll have mom come over to babysit. Oh boy. So uh, is the date set now to uh, April 14th, ladies? Will that be the day that you and the boys from midnight will battle it all out? That should be fun. All right, let's go to our manor house. And build a small one here, just a tax office, so we can collect some extra taxes from right here. Uh, it needs a door, of course, but we can do that. Yep, there we go. That's a tax office. So there's no taxes we collected there, so we need to start collecting some taxes there. Same in this area. There's not a lot of taxes collected here. So uh, let's build a tax office in here as well. Get two extra tax collectors and start taxing these people because it's nice that they live in my town, but you gotta pay your taxes. Am I right in saying Prison Architect 2 is out soon? Well, it depends on the word soon. The release date was set to the 26th of March, but it has been moved to May, so it's gonna be a while. Um, that was... Um, I was doing the uh, streams with the um, Prison Architect 1 game just to uh, get in the mood for version 2 but then of course problems arose because they delayed it so that's why I also delayed the, uh, the streams for it so uh, yeah it's unfortunate but it is what it is. Right, we have one villager apparently unemployed. It's a novice. Ah, ah, interesting. Can we promote her? Yes, now she has a job too. Great. I watched your streams and loved it. Ah, thanks. Well, I'm uh, I'm going to continue them, but I'm going to do that like one or two weeks before the uh, actual release. So as soon as the uh, release is up, and uh, we're getting really close and it's still confirmed. Then I will be back into uh, streaming uh, some Prison Architect. And we're going to stream Prison Architect 2, of course. All right, we're back into some money. So that's nice. Slowly picking up because I guess we're selling some extra goods now. And soon we can start to sell some extra tools again because we are accumulating tools again. That's perfect. Immigration incentive gets higher and higher again. I love to see that too. All right, let's get some residential area up here. But I guess... Oh, no, that was the wrong button. That didn't work out well. Uh, I have to do it like this. And then also... We need to be sure that we can have some extra houses up here. All right, there we go. We have two newcomers. We should accept them before they go away again. The house is about to be destroyed. Yes, I know. It's already gone. Just a few moments until Roadhog has a big announcement. I'm just crossing my fingers. It had nothing to do with women's tights and stuff like that. But then we'll, uh, we'll see. There comes a time when you have to pay for your sins. Mine has come. I hope you all forgive me. My friendly insults. I hope this gets me enough credit to make some more. Oh boy. A 
lumber camp build. Great, that's nice. We have a lumber camp of iron. To oh boy, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, Roadhog. That is very nice of you. We have some new members thanks to Roadhog. That is so sweet. You can joke all around as much as you want. Brian L, Thomas Morris, Brian L, Mostoyus, One Last Midnight, and Zonda Skinned. Very nice. You got my stream elements bot all confused up, I guess. <laughs> he's just shouting stuff around. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Ooh, we got the famous builder thing unlocked. That's cool. So, a rating of 50 with every estate. Very good. Very nice. Well, thank you all. But mostly Roadhog in this case. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's amazing. You did not have to do that, but wow. <laughs> Stream Elements is going totally bananas. It does not know what happened anymore. All right, let's go to this warehouse because we have to set it up. And let's get a miner and a woodcutter. At least we have some jobs available to us now. I believe it's this one, yes. We should acquire some charcoal in here. We should acquire that in here. We should acquire gold in here. And maybe then some lumber that we can use for the coal production. All right, there we go. It's easy being nice to you, Rhoda. You're a total sweetheart. Ah, and it's true. Very true. But hey, all of you are very nice and very sweet people. So take that to heart. You need to meet me in Vegas, baby. Oh boy. I'm not gonna get into that. So I guess I missed the answer, maybe it was hidden somewhere in this fast moving chat. But ladies, is 14th of April confirmed for the uh, Astroneer tournament? Yes, ah, very cool. Or that was probably a reaction to Edge, hmm. Yes it is, ah, there we have the total confirmation, that's great to hear. So, uh, we'll be, uh... Having a nice fun stream then. Boys fighting girls and the other way around. Well, we're all rooting for you ladies. We have faith in you. Don't let the channel down. <laughs> Not sure about the time yet. Oh, anytime's fine. I don't mind. I'll get the channel available. Well, there's all the monks working hard. I like it. It's quite a big monastery, I think. City wall is up. How are we doing with that big monument that we have planned? Is anything happening there already? I don't think so. The builder is assigned, but what is she doing? Oh, she is actually building it, I think. At least I hope. Where is she? There. I wonder what she's doing. I guess she's getting stuff or she's either going to build it now or busy building it or whatever. Let's see where she's going. I could imagine that she just has to pick up everything herself. And that it's going to take a while before she has picked up everything that she needs. Where is she going? Oh, she's probably going to pick up some marble. Nice. Now, the thing is, when you build one of those masterpieces, as I'm doing right now, you can't really see what else you need still for the building. I mean, we can see what it should need, but we can't see if we already have that or not, or what she's picking up, or... 
So that's a little bit annoying, I think. I would like to see what we actually have. I'm all about gambling. Ooh, I'm not. <laughs> Merry Fair! Great! The fair was fun. People are happy with it, so that's great. We just need 30 coins to start unlocking this. Hmm, that's going to take a bit of time. You used to say that here at Evan, you're pole dancing days. Oh boy. Those are details I want to know nothing about. <laughs> Hosting wandering monks. Well, our monastery is open to all. Or... Oh, we can also restock them again and get extra coins for it. Let's do that. Get some extra unlock coins with it so we can unlock more nice stuff. We can now unlock the clergy splendor monument. All right, let's do so. Surplus delivered. I believe there's also a masterpiece that goes with the fortress. And that should be able to help us... Um, heal our soldiers faster but i'm not 100 percent sure anymore maintenance decreased gain influence no it's not there okay because that would be nice if we could heal our soldiers faster. i know there was one at some point the um some sort of a garden ah yes so now everybody's really happy with us because we did that one that's great All right, let's get a few people a job. We have five people available. So let's do it like this. We have one more. Let's get another charcoal burner. All right. No, no, I could never have done that. But little fun fact about me. I spent seven years designing and making exotic stage where I put the clothes on them. <laughs> they took them off. <laughs> well, interesting. <laughs> Shooting craps is for rich people and not as much fun as TV makes it out to be. I did watch a guy making 25,000 bets each time once, losing every time and throwing a fit around it. Oh boy. Oh man. It's not pole dancing, it's called vertical exercise. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No access to the Hospitium Lodge. There's plenty of space there. Don't worry. Go get there. Could not fulfill two needs. Could not stay at the Hospitium. The Hospitium filled up. Occupants. 18. Oh, that's... We have 18 visitors. And that should work out. You should stop complaining so much all the time, people. Alright. If we do this... These people up here might also be able to get a house and can still get food there. We don't need an extra market for that. Just need to see if they are able to get a house. And... How are my soldiers doing? We have a couple of fully trimmed, but there's still some on missions. That's not really what I want. I never understand the thing with the pole. Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, Texas is okay. Budget is fine right now. But we still lose money, basically, it says. Emissions can make up for that a little bit, but not too much. Struggles, struggles. Oh, we're on a map edge here. Interesting. Let's get a few extra fishing jobs. One. Two. Three. Build. There we go. And then... Yeah, this is nice. So, yet again, Roadhog, many thanks for your gift memberships. That is really appreciated. And I really love the support it gives me. So, thanks so much. You're an amazing guy, buddy. And of course, to everybody watching, thanks so much for being it. Thanks for hanging out with me and putting up with me. I love it. I hope you enjoy this too. Have a great time here. I'm just honored that you're spending your Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is at your place with me. 
All right, let's get some foragers. Let's get another transporter. Everybody has a job. Let's do a couple of promotions so that people start paying more taxes. If we promote them, even if they do just their normal serve jobs, they should be paying us more taxes because they are higher, a higher tier. All right, let's do a promotion there. And that should conclude all promotions. Are we still fulfilling all the jobs? Yes, we now have two extra cooks compared to the beginning of the game, which is good. That should get us the extra food that we need. So that will be great. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> well, I won't shut up, but I will take your money. So yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> There's always jerks at the tables, but they never stay long. They move on to other tables. I don't worry about them. They usually don't know how to play themselves. Oh boy. Well, I don't gamble, so I have no idea. Construction requirements not met. Oh, we still need a lot more of those cut stones. Um, stone industry is still in town there. We are producing glass, though. That's nice. They're building a house in a place where it's about to be torn down. That's better. That should fix it. Alright, so I need extra of the cut glass. So let's get some extra workers like these. One and two. Let's build them. So we can get the extra glass in. Still, oh, there's only one monk that we could not fulfill the needs for. So that's better. Because then we might be... Oh, now there's none. So I guess some guests in the hospitium already left. So that's great. Only gambling I used to do was Twitch channel points, but then I moved back to the Netherlands and it disabled there. Ah, okay, interesting. Never really gambled, sorry. I was told that counting cards and stuff is not allowed, so I should probably not gamble. <laughs> we have so many common wares. Are we actually selling them? Because we... I hope we can. Uh, let's go to Trey common ware. Ah, we can't actually sell those. That's the problem. It would be nice if we could, because I think we could make some nice money out of that. We could sell some swords, but we're not really making new ones. But we are making glass, so if we sell above 50, that might actually be good and make us some money. We have 30 gold ore already. I don't see any gold bars yet. Uh, where's the industry? Right here. Ah, the gold bar building is not yet done because we still need to get the stone workers in. Some monk has no access to food. That's his problem. Uh, we were building the extra stone. Yep, yeah, there we are. We need commoners in there, though. But that should be okay. Let's prioritize this building. We have a stonemason now. Let's promote somebody to be a commoner. And then put it in the stonemason. We could also use another forager, apparently. Oh, we need to put somebody else in the monastery because it needs to uh, do a job there. Oh, nice. We'll do that later. All depends if you get caught at the casino by me. Used to do it where they shuffle cards by hand and now don't. It's done by an automatic shuffler. Yeah, that makes it a bit harder. And also, if you put a brand new deck without shuffling the cards, it doesn't shuffle them. Ah, okay. The steward of the bishop is approaching the village again. Uh-oh. Hey, Mike. Nice of you to join us. Good morning to you. 
since you just got up. How are you today? I hope all is well. How's the uh, all streaming going? I believe you were busy with getting OBS and stuff like that. Thought you might get into streaming soon. Thank you for subscribing. The usual hunk, Mr. Dead. Wow. Special name you have. Most welcome. I hope you'll enjoy it here. Feel free to chat around if you want to. A new subscriber to three to go and we hit 2700. That will be so nice. Another stonemason's hut build. Great. Let's get a few newcomers and get some extra cut stone. I thought cut stone was also on the sales list. Yeah, but only above 100. So that's good. And luckily we have some money again. So we're really... Uh, Getting up to the point where we can uh, do some big expenses again. And I guess we can also get a mint at some point to start making. Oh, the Cooperage. That could be nice too. Hmm. So many things to do. Population getting up there. Yeah, 504 people. We have 500 people in our foundation town. I like it. And I mean, there's still plenty of space. I, mean, I don't think we're going to do that in stream because uh, basically we've built most of the buildings now already. So it's now just going to be much more of the same. But it's interesting. And there's um, the fun thing with foundation, of course, too, is that you can build towns in many different ways and in, in your own um, form and stuff or have your own ideas about it. So that's really nice. I'm still one willing to do uh, at some point build like a very small tight village and then get all the farms around it and stuff like that with the wall on the on the city center and things like that. I still have to put an effort in sometimes like I did with Ostriff to really make a very beautiful fun town in foundation. Ooh, five guys came in. That's a lot. A stonemason, cook, tra two transporters. We have to uh, promote one in order to be able to get a SPA stonemason. There he goes. We need to put one in the monastery. Well, we'll do two so that at least we have one to spare. And now, yeah, we have one novice to spare. But as soon as we have ten books again, we can promote one. So that's good. I want to see 100% watching like ratio. <laughs> oh, you can wish all you want, but uh, it's not there yet. Well, right here it says 19 viewers, 15 likes. So we're getting close. We're getting close. But hey, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just happy. Everybody watching and that you enjoy it. That's all good. I believe one of my Ostrich streams got rewatched a lot of times and got like uh, almost a hundred likes. The uh, last Ostrich stream where I started on map 3 already has 49 likes, which is a lot. I mean, we ended the stream with like somewhat of 25, so that's really cool. A lot of people enjoyed that and I'm happy with that. It does give an indication whether I know that people either liked the video or not. So it does give some indication for me whether I'm on the right track or when I'm doing things uh, not so right. But um, especially on streams, if they're rewatched, that's really cool if people still like them and really enjoy it. That always makes me so happy. What days do you live stream? Uh, nowadays I live stream on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. Uh, usually around the same time, which is 7 p.m. Central European time. Uh, Wednesdays is usually at 8 because that's when I have to put my daughter to bed first. And Friday and Sunday uh, my wife's home, so she does that. Um, last time I streamed on Friday and we started an hour earlier. And we did a very long stream, but that was really... Uh, that was really nice. 
So um, maybe we're going to do a few longer streams every now and then because I'm, I'm willing to do that. I like that. And I'm also looking into doing some extra streams, but I can't really plan them out yet and make them regular weekly streams. So uh, for instance, it could well be that I'll be streaming again tomorrow and, and playing some Planet Zoo or whatever. But it all depends on uh, who are these? A visiting nun. Okay. But it, it could well be that I'm... Um, I'll be doing a, an extra stream this week and then next week none and then so I don't know yet we'll have to find out but I'd love to do some extra streams but I also hope that I have a lot of time this week to devote to the channel because of course now that my daughter is not sick anymore and she should go to school the whole week that should be helpful at least I hope um, and then I still have also a ton of work and plans and ideas to do with the channel and videos to make and stuff like that so Busy, busy, but uh, at least the three streams are confirmed usually every week. Sometimes I really can't make it, but then uh, there's always a chance that wifey will stream. So that's also a possibility. Now that she has a little arm injury, she won't until that is fully healed. But um, she won't be a nun for much longer. <laughs> Yeah, who knows, who knows. <laughs> All right, let's get to fishermen. The wandering monks were pleased. Okay, that's great. Well, I know I wake up Kevin if I pronounce this and say that this is be going to be a titty text, but uh, I don't really know how to pronounce this, but yeah. Hey, Mr. Hunk. Or Hunk Mr. Dead. Nice that you're here. You're my new subscriber. Thanks so much. That's really appreciated. Welcome. How are you? Ooh, glassworks. We can get stained glass. We can get a great hall. We can get a winery. Ooh, a winery. I want a winery. Sorry about the whipping. <laughs> well, that's what Herodef does. She even uses her whip to get the fish out of the lake. So uh, don't blame it on her. It's just who she is. She can't help it. <laughs> how did the military do on their missions? Well, you know, I sent Donnie out on a mission, so you probably know already how that went. But, um, yeah, he's still wounded. <laughs> but some of them are still on a mission because it was a long mission and others are already back. So I guess we can already start doing another mission. Not too difficult. I'm going to train up some Norbury troops so that we can get some extra... Um, people trained up so yeah let's send the troops there we go that's another mission <laughs> greetings from argentina nice nice well greetings back to you how is argentina right now i think settled down a bit after the last election because i believe there was quite some uh, unrest and protests and then with the new president the things calmed down a bit or i believe the inflation was really bad Of course they were as happy as all the men in the village. <laughs> iron ore for the king. No way, not gonna get away my iron ore. My iron ore is precious. I'm not giving that away. Alright, we have 13 books again. That's really starting to pick up as well. So we can promote another monk or nun. And that way... We make up another place for somebody else let's see can we promote a soldier no that concludes all promotions then that's where our queen comes in <laughs> ah there's some more newcomers i'm a furry so all is gray i never judge ah very good <laughs> Ah, we're back up in the money. I like it. We finally make good numbers again. Lots of taxes, lots of trade. No access to entertainment. Is this filled up all the time? No. So there is entertainment for them. They can just get in. There's just not a lot of beer. We need more beer. 
What's the problem with the beer? Are we running out of hops or are we just not having enough breweries? We have two breweries. We have plenty of hops, plenty of wheat, plenty of water. So we just need more breweries. Roadhog, stop drinking all my beer. Where's the brewery? Somewhere here. Hop farm. There's the brewery. Let's get extra breweries. No, Roadhog, you can drink all the beer you want. We'll just get you some extra. Quirky sends a nice image of a tiger. Is that your way of saying rar? Or what? what is that? <laughs> So how is Argentina then? I'm a sweet, so I'm excused everywhere I go. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> Possible to put Rose in a brewery and then complains there's no beer to sell. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but I had my hopes up. Military prows. Oh, they're happy with our strong military. So that's good. Missing raw materials. That's fine. We have three people. Ooh, the gold smelter is built. Yay. It needs citizens, though. So we need to promote people all the way up to citizen level to get them to work in the uh, gold smelter. And the problem is they'll probably live too far away from all the nice stuff that they need for their lives. So we have to fix that, but... Uh, Argentina has been in the black for two months now, I think. In the black. In terms of uh, their um, economy, that things are going better? Or just a bit, but in summer, I just go out in my ears. <laughs> oh boy, chat's going so fast. I need to keep up. In the money. Oh, that's good then. That's good then if things are settling down. That would be so great. I did send uh, Dana a message lately about how it is with her. I mean, she's from Argentina too. Haven't heard from her yet, but I hope all is well. I knew that she found a new job and that things were looking better, but... Um, I do worry a bit about her, so I hope she's fine. Save something for me, I'm still working at the lumber camp. Oh, you get your beer every now. How am I doing in your village? Am I catching lots of fish? Well, we have a surplus of 500 fish. So, yes, you're doing good. I like it. All right, we got three newcomers. Let's give them jobs. Oh, we don't have jobs. They're still processing with some jobs. So we get some brewers soon, so that should be good. Do we have some berries free somewhere that we can put them in? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess here we get a house for the citizens. We should beautify this area a bit so that they can start to get some decoration, some better housing here. That might be a part of a good idea. Let's give them a few trees here. And then... Uh, some places to sit. I mean, who doesn't want to sit every now and then? On a nice bench. And this should help to make it so... Yeah, a house is upgrading. It immediately started to upgrade. So that's great. Time to buy more lands. Yeah, probably. We could do that. Question is, which way? Um, probably go this way. There's another rock there that we could get. And there's some berries out here that I want. So let's go this way. One, two, and three. And then we can get even more berries. Yay! Not that they can live anywhere close to the berries, but hey, that's their problem, not mine. I just want the berries. Do 
Do we have enough berries? Yes, we do, but I don't care. <laughs> I just want more berries. Ooh, we have another tax collector. Yay. You will be promoted, Brida. And you will start collecting more taxes for me. Great invention, dynamite. <laughs> Sitting is overrated. Oh, well, that's true. Well, at some point, I'm... I, um, Wifey now has a sit and stand desk, so you can just uh, bring it up and then you can stand at your desk and, and work properly. I'm uh, gonna get one this year somewhere, I hope. I have to get funds for it, but when I do, because they'll be way better for me, because uh, right now, of course, I'm sitting quite a bit behind my computer doing all the work for the channel and stuff, and then I can also stand every now and then and do that. I mean, I could even stand now while streaming. That would be really helpful. I'm so much better for my body, so... Uh, I will actually go start to look into that at some point. That would be so great if I could get that. It is bad that as soon as you mention dynamite, the first Im image that comes to my mind is the dynamite in Estranir. Oh, you have a way too close connection to the dynamite in Estranir. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I became a professional fisherman, but discovered I couldn't live on my net income. <laughs> Yeah. Another house is upgrading. Yay! Well, I'm going to make some coffee. I'll be right back. That's great. Enjoy your coffee. We'll see you soon again. And then I want to hear all about how Argentina is doing right now, because uh, I still don't know, or I missed the answer. Oh, it's set to top chat. Oh, man. I refreshed at some point, and then it's going back to top chat, and then I sometimes miss chat messages. So maybe I did. No more communism for us. Finally a real change. I don't want to politicize this. <laughs> See, I missed that chat because of the uh, one commoner left. Okay, bye. I don't know what job it had, but uh, it's probably not good. Taylor, the Taylor left. No, uh, you're promoted now. You're going to be a Taylor. I guess I need to get some extra stuff here to keep the people happy. What do we have here? Common clothes, bread, cheese stuff. All right, we need to get some uh, goodies here. I guess is it is it the luxury goods or the regular goods? Um, common clothes. Oh yeah, just the regular goods that we need. Okay, let's get two of these then. Let's get some tents so that we can sell some extra goods for the people that live here so that they'll be more happy. A standing desk are food, but you can get ones that turn your normal one into a standing desk. Well, I want one that can do both. So with a little motor in it so that I can raise and lower it. So when I want to sit, I can sit and when I want to stand, I can stand. And I can tell you this desk is not to be changed for that. So, but it's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll get one. We got one for wifey last year, so I guess this year's my turn. Because it will be really helpful. Especially with my back, so that's good. I know I have the same thing with... Dinner shawarma and up until very recently poo. What I discovered poo broth in container at the store so I can recreate it pretty well now. Ah. Alright. You lost me there. So what are all your plans for this week? Tell me about it. My gaming setup is a 
TV table and a stool beside me. I suspect that is what caused my shoulder problem the last few days. Working on fixing that. Yeah, that could well be the case. I mean, I have uh, some uh, ergonomics stuff so that things are already uh, quite good. So I have these uh, special things for my screen that... Um, places it higher because if you have a desk and you sit at your desk at a normal height your screens are basically too low so i have screen razors i have an ergonomic mouse and stuff like that and that really helps because uh, in the beginning i would get a lot of pain in my right arm and now it's completely gone and i never have pains in it i also try to uh, train it every now and then and move my hand and fingers a lot when i'm not behind my computer that seems to be helping too so we'll see but yeah it works and um I already have a not so good back so being able to uh, to get the standing desk will help out so uh, we'll get it at some point for now it's fine 522 people and we can unlock something new residential taxation happiness effects is decreased by 50% now that's what I want Labor buildings upkeep family, but every time you trade with a village of Libra allegiance, you get one influence. Yeah, I don't care. I want to get the um, tax happiness that doesn't go down so fast. Where is it? How can I get it? Is it one of these or is it one of these? It is one of those. All right, so we have to revise a privilege with the laborers. Revise a labor privilege. That's what we're going to do. Revise a labor privilege. Let's start. We're going to get rid of the old one and we're going to get the new one. That should be good. Fish under the ice. Oh boy. A Canadian angler had a few too many beers and decided to go ice fishing. He grabbed his gear, stepped out into the ice and started to cut a hole when he heard a booming voice shout. There are no fish under the ice. All right. <laughs> countdown to a week off from 27th of march nice that's nice well that's a nice countdown i mean it still takes some time but it's a nice countdown i just basically had a week of work because uh a little one was sick and then i started getting back to work on friday and immediately i did three funerals in two days so eh, it was quite busy all right let's gain some influence with the clergy that's helpful but yes, I hope to do a lot of work on the channel and some household chores this week. That's basically it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six people ready to go on a mission. Even Donny is all ready again, so that might be good. Let's train up some troops for Northbury. At night, Donny in charge. There he goes. The punchline still has to come. Oh. Da, da, da. Duh. There's got to be a punchline. Uh, yeah, it's a guy telling a story. So yeah, there has to be a punchline. Totally true. <laughs> the man jumped up and looked around, but didn't see anyone. He carried on cutting into the eyes, and again the voice boom. There are no fish under the eyes. Still nobody. Was he going mad? Ooh, well the story continues. Uh let's go to soldiers. And yeah, we can change this guy's weapon out for a sword, which makes him stronger. This guy too. That should help. Another gathering hut done. That's great. There are no fish under the eyes. The man looked up into the blinding light and said, Is that you, God? The voice answers, No, you idiots. Is the manager of the ice ring. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yep. All right, we have a novice that's unemployed. And I have a copyist that needs a job. Ah, we can now do the revised thing here. All right. There we go. Taxing happiness penalty is 
gone down. Maybe we can now raise taxes. No, we can't. But at least there will be less happiness effect. So that's good. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Thanks, Cooper. That's a good laugh. Ah, and we got a red screen. Very good. Very good. That is what we want to see. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all right we're working on the market here let's start selling some candles and some common wares now we just need people in the market but we're out of people again already 526 people they all have to live somewhere it's interesting market change is complete that's nice we got a whole new sort of village here which is also really interesting they need entertainment, though, so I think we need to build ourselves a tavern here to provide some entertainment for these folks. Uh, the tavern's probably here. Yeah, there's the tavern. All right, let's build ourselves a nice tavern here. That should be interesting. A sub building. Let's start with the public lounge. Now we'll start with the service counter. But now we can build this stone tavern, I think. All right, let's raise it. This needs a door too. Okay, then we'll give it a door. Build. That's the first part. Then add a sub building. We need a public lounge. Where the people can just hang around. Well, we need at least one of the same buildings, I think. So let's raise it, but I think we can also put the balcony on it. Like this. So that it's like they sit in that balcony, which is pretty cool. And I guess we should expand that way too, but we'll do that later. Interior access. It does not have interior access. Oh, that's because it's... Uh, um, okay. Let's go there. Let's rotate this one. And then hook it up. So yeah, now it has interior access. That's good. Come on, go in the middle. Yep. No, click too far. It's very close. Oh man. Why doesn't it work the way I want it to work? There we go. Let's do it again. Yep. Let's raise it one. Build. All right, we have the um, service counter, the public lounge. Now we need the kitchen. Now this is a cookhouse, and that's nice, I guess, if we can just get the cookhouse here up and running. Uh, and uh, one cookhouse should be fine for a small tavern like this. So that should not be too hard. A question for the chat and pop was, how many kills do you think I can fit into a 60 second short? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, I guess if you've recorded all kills you ever made, you're probably up to like 12 kills. So 12, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I mean, if you can do one a second, you need to have 60 kills on record. I don't know if you have that. So you should probably, uh, let me know if you have that. But, um interesting <laughs> no just joking of course i don't know i guess you could do like one a second that should be something but um i don't know tell us how many can you fit in oh have you not tried yet <laughs> berry brewer ah we can get the berry brewer here as well because we have so many berries if we start brewing some berries that will be nice room size for brewer capacity is one this has a brewer capacity for two, and this has a brewer capacity of three. All right, let's get three brewers in here then. A chimney. All right, we've got a chimney on it. Built. Wow, this is one big um, 
place then, I guess. <laughs> but interesting. Guinness Book of World Records. Zero second death. He just got into the game and died. Ah. I could get 12 deaths in a second. Yeah, I think so. But, um... <laughs> You've not tried yet. Well, I'll start recording some of your kills and then maybe you get enough to fill a minute. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I want to see how many of your deaths you can actually put into 60 seconds and how many will be left. <laughs> how, you, you can do like 10 shorts of a minute with all your deaths. That will be fun. There's still a housing insufficiency, apparently, but it might be for the people either living there or working there. Never ending short. Yeah, that's probably it. No, if you uh, just, just start to put them all behind each other, then at some point you can just do a live stream where you, we just watch your deaths for two hours and you talk amongst it and, and, and we have fun in chat. Who knows? Could be interesting. <laughs> I'll watch. I watch it. Ooh, this house is going down. Common doesn't need to be looking for a medium quality housing. Oh, there is no nobody in the house. That's it. That's why it's being uh, turned down. Okay, that's great. Oh yeah, nice premiere. That would be fun. How many times do you think I can die in my 20 minute battle in World of Warships? So only one time because you only get one ship. So you die one time and that's it. But um, I will record that for the next movie night. Why you will be so happy. <laughs> well, at least there'll be a lot more happening than in Barbie. So that'll be interesting. And you can always tell the wife that there's some Barbie Wyatt fans in the film, so uh, who knows? Maybe she, maybe she'll get forget that, and then uh, you can watch it. Who knows? Donnie doesn't know the meaning of that. He never has the time to look it up in a dictionary before he dies. <laughs> that is probably very true too. <laughs> a courier requests an audience. Tools surplus for beer. They want my tools, but my tools are so precious. I am not interested. We are up to 47 beer again. So thanks Roadhog for uh, brewing all the new beer. You can drink as much as you want because now we are producing enough anyway. So that is good to know. 530 people. We have a lot of iron ore though. So we can speed up the iron processing a bit. By getting another iron ore creator. That will be nice. Build. Ah, I'm glad you like it, Kevin. <laughs> Alright, let's get my market tenders. Another forager, another forager. That's it. <laughs> I guess it's the best place to uh, put your Barbies. If you still have the dolls, you put them in the Barbie wire fence. I have to admit, there's something addictive about watching Donnie's streams. Ooh, elaborate on that. Tell us why and how. Wow, look at these big gold nuggets. That's cool. Well, they are all working here. They're doing a good thing. We have a nice little village here. We just need a lot of work put into this. But once this is done, it should be pretty cool. We have a very big tavern. We provide these people with some entertainment. So everybody should be happy. And it's like these small little villages erupt outside of the city walls. I like it.
Well, I have to say, though, Donnie is doing a really great job with his streams. And uh, his channel is growing quickly. So if you have not done so, go visit his channel and support him. He's doing some amazing stuff. He has 133 subs right now, which is a growth of like five already today. So uh, he's doing well. So go show him some love in his channel. James Bond drinking game. I nap through lunch. So lunchtime. Enjoy quirky. <laughs> oh, and I still have to make up for something. Because last stream I had prepared something. But I never showed you. And I feel really bad about it. Because last stream. It was Rosanetka's birthday. And I totally forgot to put this up. So we're going to do this right now. So many congratulations, Rosanetka. It was her birthday on the 14th, so we're a bit late, but sorry about that. But hey, I hope this made up for it. We got a good question. How many hours of did play did it take to build all of this? I believe this is my third or fourth stream with this game. Streams are usually between two and two and a half hours. So uh, I guess around 10 hours, maybe shorter, maybe longer. But I think somewhere between eight to 10 hours to uh, build this. Nah, is it? Nah, I think it's slightly longer. I think somewhere around 12 or 14, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, it's fun. It's a lovely game. I mean, it's different from Ostrif. That's what I love about it. Things go just a bit different. And the things I really love about this game is all the buildings that you can put up yourself, like the monastery, but also the uh, tavern that we are now putting up by ourselves. We're making it the way that we want it to be and we want it to show. So that's really cool. I like that. And um, I hope to uh, that they will keep developing this game for a long time. Make it better and better because it is so lovely. Ooh, what do we have? Military success. We got some nice spears again. Great. I love that. Housing insufficiency, no access to food. Do they still not have enough food in here? Monastic meals, zero. Oh, 14 now. All right, so they cooked some meals and now they can eat. That's good. The iron smelter is up. We just need two commoners in there. So as soon as new people come in, which hopefully is quickly. Yep, there they come. We can get two people in the iron smelter. We have plenty of iron ore. Alright, there we go. Let's promote two people. Promote and promote. There we go. Let's give them jobs in the iron smelter. Alright, gathering hut, gathering hut. This is brother and sister, brother and novice. We need a novice in the uh, monastery actually again. Every time we promote somebody, we need an extra novice in there. So let's get a couple in there so that they at least get a job to do in there. And every time we have 10 books, we can then just promote somebody. And that should be helpful. Can we promote a soldier too? No, but we can still promote another novice. And then we get another cook in the uh, place or some something else. Oh, I thought I put two people in the iron smeltery business. And now apparently we didn't. That's weird. I thought I just promoted two people and put them in that business. Can't find a house. A hunter. Okay, well you get out of that job and you'll be a iron smelter. That's better. 
Can't find a house with enough desirability. Okay. And this is also a commoner, but that's okay. The weaver should be a commoner. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think you're uh, talking in a language that I don't know. Well, I'm, I don't think I know you're talking in a language that I know nothing about, uh, Hunk. So I can't really answer that. And I don't really have the time to go to Google Translate right now. Wish I could so I could answer your question. So where is this person living? And why can't it find a house? Ah, it's living here and it has no um, decorations here. That's the problem. We need to get some of these big plants up here. And then these houses can also be upgraded. And then all problems here will be solved. Yep, the house is upgrading. Problem solved. I'm a bit frustrated that Jonathan did get a membership. But hey, YouTube decides. Yeah, that's the thing with um, these... Uh, these membership giveaways, it's so nice, but um, yeah, you can't really decide who gets it. There is no Latin community here. Well, there are... Um, we have a few people from uh, South America, but um, it's hard for them to attend sometimes. Alright, let's host a fair. That's fine. That's fair. <laughs> so we're hosting a fair. Life is futile before. Okay. Wants to get a new game. Well, I'll get Ostriff. You have Ostriff. House upgrading. Very good. Sorry, my English is not very good. No problem, Hunk. No problem. My English is also not very good, so that's no issue. Um, but uh, if you want to build, have a nice city building game or something like that, you should totally go for um, the um, for, for Ostriff. It's such a great game. And your English is way better than my Spanish, so would not be uh, too upset with that. Host, wandering monks. Okay, they can come by. That's fine. Some bandits kept burning my houses. Yeah, that can be tough. Well, if you like the uh, whole game with some bandits and stuff in it, you could go for... Um, Something like uh, Farthest Frontier. That could be an interesting game then. Um, because there's also uh, some bandits and stuff in this. But uh, And it's on sale now, I believe. I'll put a link in the Discord. So you can... Or in the chat, so you can actually see. You could check out the game that I just posted in the chat. It's nice. Uh, it's, it's about city building and there's something like bandits and stuff in it. But if you want to have a really, really, really good uh, city builder, you should check out that page. That's for Ostriff. You won't find a better city builder out there. So uh, just go check those two. And if other people in chat have some things to, uh, to add about nice games, then you can uh, share, of course. Um, what what type of game are you looking for, Hunk? Is it like um, city building? Because then, and of course, Ostrif, Foundation, those games. Or is it more that you want to build something with your own hands? Like with Medieval Dynasty, where you build a medieval town, but you do it house by house. And you are basically a character in game and you have to build everything yourself. So what, what kind of game you really want? Well, we have a quite nice and peaceful town. Things are running. I like it. Astroneer. <laughs> 
Very true, Rodog. Very true. All right, here comes a little bit of the tavern. And as far as I can tell, the kitchen is... Or the berry brewer is almost up. It needs a well, though, to work and berries. So it might be good to build a well at least close. The berries they'll have to get from a little bit further out. If we can build a well here. They can just get the water there. And it's also good for sobering up after they got drunk in the uh, place here. So uh, that could help. We just need more planks. Stone. Yeah, we basically need everything in here. City building is the best. Well, I guess then Farthest Frontier and Ostrif, the two links I posted, are um, interesting for you. Because those are city building games. They're really nice. I love those. How much glass do we have? 50. All right, so we're selling glass every now and then. That's nice. We have 56 gems now. Do we have some gold bars already? Because, oh, we got some nice villagers. Let us me let me check if we have gold bars now. Yeah, we have 18 gold bars. That means that we can also make some jewelry now if, the, if we build a jeweler. Let's build a jeweler. We can build them in this part of town. Because this is where all the other stuff is too. And let's go get some jewelry. Looks like the gang is on top of translating for you. <laughs> no worries if you want to type in Spanish. Yeah, that's probably true. Two builders are bringing resources. Great. Delighted visitors. Also great. How are my soldiers doing? All trained. Oh, there, nobody's on a mission. Uh, we have only five wounded, so we can send the rest out on missions. There we go. Let's see. Repair Devonport. We get gold, wood, stone, planks, polished stone, and tools. Oh, that's a nice reward. One, two, three, four, five, I get. Oh, Steven, you're not that good. You're still training. <laughs> All right, this is a difficult mission. We get gold, swords, and spears. Um... Let's see. Gold, coal, and iron ore. Oh, I like that too. Let's go with that. One, two, three. Oh, three is enough. Extreme mission success. Feed the army. All right, we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. There we go. Three ongoing missions. And then we'll see. Well, I guess... Um if you want to take a look at the two links I sent and let me know what you think about those games. And maybe you have questions about them. Maybe we can answer them before you buy it. So you really know whether you're making a good buy or not. So feel free to ask any questions you have about the game. And um, I guess if you're really interested in, let's say, uh, Ostriv or something. Um, I'm nearing the end of this stream because I'm already on for two hours. Um... And if you're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I think Ostriff is really something for me, but I would like to see it, then I can give you a quick show of the game, and then uh, you can see what it is. But that's up to you. Let us know. We're always willing to help out here. If you would like to check out Papa's Discord, there is a lot of talk about all kinds of games, too. That's true, too. Ooh, and I see I have a new subscriber. Thank you very much if you're the one and if you're here. That is so sweet. Two more to go and we hit 2700. So nice. I like it. How does Canada respond to coin shortage in the US? They give us nickel back. <laughs> Very good, Cooper. <laughs> and thank you very much, my friendly, lovely, great moderators. You're doing such a great job. Managing the chat, sharing all the links and stuff. It's so nice. You are all special people. Both Kevin and Hiradev who are here now, but also uh, Shuriel and Wifey who are not here right now. I have such wonderful, great mods. It's amazing. So thanks so much, but hey, thanks to everybody, because you're all such nice, amazing, friendly people. You're all so supportive. I get all these nice comments on videos, lots of likes on my vids and on the streams. It's always 
great and lovely to chat with you all and talk about our lives and all sorts of different things serious or not so serious you're all amazing people thanks so much every morning you wake up look in the mirror and think oh wow i am amazing because you are each and every one of you whether you're just watching this or chatting or whatever you're great all right let's see is there anything new here that we have not gotten yet that i would like to get well i'd like to get some banners for my town don't know why but um I don't say I'm too fast, my self-esteem goes down. Oh boy. <laughs> Service counter build. Nice. All right, we can get taverners in here now. So let's get a few people. We already have... Uh, I need to get the unemployed only. One, two, three. Commoner, a commoner. And a commoner. We'll put them in the tavern so they can now work the tavern. We're going to sell some berry brew here because that's what we have. We have berry brew already and we're building the berry brewer. And once that is up, that will be very good. I'm not going to say that out loud on chat, Cooper. <laughs> Kevin the Rocket Frost. <laughs> well, I guess you just gotta hope that that rocket won't blow up, but... Um... <laughs> There are the traders from the other villages. Hopefully we make some money on that. If we zoom out though, I think we do have a lovely town. Oh, they're building a lot of new houses here. Wow. Lots of new people get a house there. That's cool. They're so busy now. We have such a big town. 545 people. Five more to go and we reach 550. So nice. Only if you explain the tides. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know about that. But hey, apparently people do. Interesting. <laughs> Wandering monks. Well, apparently they're still all happy. So that is good. We got a bunch of newcomers here. Yay. Yeah, we still have jobs for these people. We will need a hunter. We need an iron smelter. And we need a couple of foragers. Now we should have one without a job. But that's a novice. But we have 10 books, so if we do a little promotion again, somebody else can do a job there. That worked. No soldiers to promote. No. That concludes the promotions then. Here we get some new people in. Do we now still have a novice without a job? Because that's not supposed to be that way. That should have a job right now. Oh, no, we don't because we don't have a novice job yet. All right, we can increase the jobs. That's fine. Food no longer has my attention. Ah, I hope it's back to the stream and not to anything else, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> so, Hunk, did you take a look at those links? Is it something that might suit you or not? Can I show you something about the games or... Just let us know. I'm still here now. Stream might end soon, though. Well, let's get somebody else into the um, iron smelter. Yes, very good. I think we can increase the monastic garden a little bit. Uh, let's see. Here we have the monastic garden. Let's add some herb gatherers to it. 
because I want more herbs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Built. Very good. Nothing wrong with Steven wearing tights. <laughs> Even Robin Hood was uh, wearing tights at some point, according to a movie, so I uh, guess we should all applaud that. This part of town is now getting quite busy with all the housing and stuff. Ah, our soldiers were victorious and they're back from a mission. Let's hope not too many got wounded. Nope, only four wounded right now. That means that all the rest got better. This guy can have a spear now. This guy can have a spear. Or girl. Oh no, they're on a mission. They can't. We'll have to wait until they get back from the mission. I knew I would regret it in the end. Of course you would, but you knew that up, for, up front. Another Barbie reference. I was looking at some gameplay. Father's Frontier looks much better, but I'm really liking Foundation too. Yeah, they're, they're quite different in, in how you play it, but... Um, they're both fun, that's true, that's true. Accumulate 250. Nah, we don't need that. Well, at least you have your um, foundation gameplay right here. And um, if you want to see some Father's Frontier, it's also on my channel. If you just go to my channel and look around, uh, you can probably find um, the Father's Frontier playlist real quick. And otherwise, I'll just find it for you. And then you can... Uh, can see what that game is about i don't know i think there is one update that came out after i did the last playthrough with farthest frontier but i'm not 100 percent sure i guess i have to find a way to share this playlist because i have found it already No, it doesn't work that way. Let me go to this. I'll just find the um, a link to my last uh, playlist with Father's Frontier for you quickly. So that you can check that out too. Then you can see what that game is like. There we go. There's the link to the um, Father's Frontier I have. Lots of gameplay on it. You can see about all the raids, how you have to manage a town and stuff like that. I hope it helps out a bit. And then you can uh, make a good decision, I hope. Hey, wifey. Nice of you to join us. How are you? Long time no see. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's add a few people to the monastery. Lego Barbie. No way. There's going to be no Lego Barbie. Lego is some serious business. Can't spoil that with a Barbie. Watching your Dawn of Men playlist. Which one? The regular one or the Northlands? Dawn of Men is also such a good game. I plan to send you an update on the ladies' chat wife. We just haven't had a chance. <laughs> Alright, people. We have reached 550 people. I think we've made quite the town. We've pleased the monks again. That's great too. I guess we can unlock something. Yes, we can unlock stained glass. Um, and we've built quite the monastery, a fort and stuff. I guess I've shown most of the game. So I guess for now, this is going to be the last stream with this game of Foundation. So next week, there will be something else. And um, we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to get my Dutch phone to dictate my English spoken language. Oh, I don't know how that works, but... Um, 
I will buy the foundation. Everything looks much more alive and friendly. I no longer want to see citizens living in eternal suffering. <laughs> well, then I guess you should get foundation. But if you're really into city building, then Ostriv is really an amazing game. So, uh, but hey, there's... Uh, my channel is based mostly around city building games. So I guess if you just look around on my channel, you can see lots of videos about different uh, city builders and, and, and see what you like and don't like. And then also check other YouTubers because they do things differently and you can learn a lot from that too. But uh, this is going to be the end of this stream. So um, thank you all for being here. Thanks so much for the fun and laughter. Thanks for uh, spending your Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time is it at your place. It's evening here with me. It is really appreciated. Thank you, Roadhog, for the five giveaway subs. That is really appreciated. All of that support will go back into the channel, of course. And uh, thanks, Hunk, for uh, becoming a um, subscriber and for hanging out with us. That was really amazing. Thank you, all others that are here too. Uh, Jonathan, nice to see you again. And to everybody else, of course. It is so much fun every time again. Already looking forward to the next stream. Uh, the next scheduled stream will be on Wednesday. Um, but there might be a stream earlier, but I'm not sure yet. I just have to find the right time and plan it. Um, next Friday stream will be later. I don't really know how late yet, but it will be later because um, little one has a play at school and we have to attend because she's uh, in it. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, and uh, I don't know how late we'll get back. And if I can't make it in time, I will do it the other day. So that should all be fun too. Thank you all so much. And uh, of course, I wish you all the best for this week. Take care. Stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you all then next time. Bye bye. Zwei zwei. Love you all.